Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I am back on 18W03B. Following up on my last video about shadows, I mentioned uh, or made mention of board games. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't make use of them because with item frames in 1.13, uh, while you can actually do things like this now, you can actually uh, stitch them all together to make it look like you've got a board game in front of you. Um, unfortunately, the shadows actually pass straight through the item frames, so it doesn't actually work. Uh, so I'm gonna actually let this run before I explain everything, because some games can take several minutes to finish. If you haven't heard of Snakes and Ladders, it is a board game which is immensely popular among young children. Um, it's basically a game of chance, there's no thinking, there's no strategy involved unless you think cheating is a strategy. Um, you basically roll a die, you take turns, I've got four players here, I'm a stand, a chicken, a vex, and a rabbit, and each player would take turns rolling a die. You can see the dice rolling simulation, um, and if you land on, let's say, number four, you jump four squares to the right or up here to the left. And the goal is to reach the tile 100. However, there is a bit of a catch here. If you land on, let's say, 98, and you roll three, some people can play the rule where you have to land on the number two exactly, because landing on number three means you jump on 99, 100, and the 99 back. So you fall back down. So you've got snakes and ladders. Those are the little um, catches here. So you can see them as decorations, uh, but they are functional. So if you land on, let's say, number 15, a ladder would allow you, for example, let's say number 8, you would be able to jump all the way up to 31 if you land on a number 8 on your turn, the end of your turn. So if you pass straight through it, you won't be able to do it. So you, obviously the, the rabbit and the vex got pretty lucky there. However, on the contrary, if you land on the head of a snake, you would fall all the way back down to where its tail is located, so number 13 here. So, obviously snakes are bad, ladders are good. We have five snakes here and four ladders. Normally you'd have more snakes than ladders because you want to have more drawbacks than positive outcomes. This simulation is going to go on for a while. Games take about three minutes max, um, because a lot of times a character can land on this ladder which will take you all the way up to 97, so you've probably just, you're have probably you going to win on the next turn. I didn't install that catch here where you have to land on the exact number. Um, I think that's going to be a little bit... It does, it's going to take too long. So this world is up for download for you guys if you'd like to download this. I had a lot of fun making it, although I did, did not think it would take me like 5 hours to do it. Alright, so as I was switching screens, the rabbit landed on 42, which has taken it to 81. Uh, and of course, as I'm recording, none of the uh, the characters landed on 15. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure every single time I tried this out, every character landed on 15. Of course, it's not out of the question yet. Oh, it looks like player 1 landed on 24. Fell all the way down to 1. I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, so hopefully it will finish by the time I end this recording. Uh, but let me just explain how this all works. Because there are a few uh, arms and legs here. After the dice rolling happens, which is done by this, you can see that the gold block is randomly placed among all of the armor stands. It's not in sequence, it is random. And after a bit of time, it will stop, and uh, depending on the armor stand it is uh, above, it will correspond to the number. And after that, uh, this is where the, mo the, the movements happen. I wanted it to be uh, very clear, so I didn't use a 20 hertz clock, I decided to use this fancy um, redstone block falling sand idea, which will obviously be very uh, conducive to um, a more visible effect. Um, so after that's done, it will place a redstone block here, which is instant. You might not be able to see it. Actually, you might have seen it there. Um, and this will determine whether it's on a ladder or it's on a snake. And based on that, it will teleport to the proper position. And then it cycles through four times and it will repeat back to the beginning. And until uh, one character reaches 100, um, it will keep playing, and once that happens, the game will end, and the 20 hertz clock will stop the major one, and the game stops. So it's not obviously as efficient as it could be, but uh, I, I sort of rushed the design, but it's, it's really not heavy at all. It's just um, entities moving around. It's a simulation. It's pretty quick. Player one rolls, and rolls a two. And he's all the way up to 81. So hopefully the game will end. I will stick around until it finishes because I do want this game to end. This is the longest game that has ever taken place. 
and of course it happens while I'm recording. So player 1 can still fail if he lands on 99, falls back to the beginning. Got that nice dice rolling there. Alright, player 4. Player 4 rolls a 6, it's game over for him. There we go. Player 1 wins, and the game just stops. So, uh, essentially I just remove the redstone block from here. And that stops the whole sequence. This will still run, but this will do nothing now. And the dice rolling will stop as well. So you can download this, guys. It's going to be in the video description. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, it's been a while since I've made a project like this, as complex as, as this. It's not complex, but it does take a bit of thinking to make sure everything is in sync. Um, the directions essentially are done through block detection from underneath. And uh, we have a whole lot of other armor stands which mark the uh, position of the snakes and the ladders. I could have done block detection there too, um, but I had to make sure that it was... It, it's a different system. It's not the same system because I had to check at the very end of the turn. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, this uh, little concept here. Of course, this is in 18W03B, uh, which is kind of stupid of me because um, it could still change. But if you have that snapshot going, hopefully the syntax doesn't change too much. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Take care.